of all the differences between computers and video, the one that drives me the most nuts is the aspect ratio. Computers use square pixels and video uses rectangular pixels. For a computer, a pixel is one unit high and one unit wide. For NTSC video, it's one unit high, but point nine zero six units wide. And, in something which should surprise no one, PAL also uses a rectangular pixel, but it's a different sized rectangle. PAL is one unit high by one point zero six units wide. The only good news I've got in this whole mess is that HD, thank goodness, uses square pixels. So as we migrate from a standard def format to a high def format, our problems with rectangular pixels will gradually fade. But for right now, we're plunk in the middle of it, and it's a problem. Let's take a look at our image sizes. And this is for PAL. PAL is a 4x3 image. The PAL image is 720 by 576, and remember this is a fixed resolution, so you care only about the total number of pixels across by the total number of pixels down. In Photoshop, for instance, I would create an image which is 720 by 576 by 72, implying that I've got a fixed resolution. However, if you wanted to create a graphic which compensates for the fact that PAL uses a rectangular pixel, you want to create a graphic which is 768 by 576 because PAL pixels are fat and short compared to a square pixel. If you're working with a PAL anamorphic, you want to create it at 1024 pixels wide by 576 pixels high. However, the size pixel inside NTSC is different than a PAL pixel. So if you're working with DV on NTSC, your 4x3 image is 720 by 480 If you are creating an image that needs to compensate for the square versus rectangular pixel, then you'll create 720 by 540 And if you're doing a 16x9 anamorphic, your graphic is 853 wide by 480 high. DV in NTSC uses a different image size than standard def does. So if you're creating images for Betacam SX or Betacam SP or DigiBeta, you need, to, you need to work with yet another image size. With Betacam, it's 720 by 486, and if you need to compensate for the rectangular pixels, you're creating 720 by 547. And if you're compensating for 6 by 9 anamorphic, it's 853 by 486. There's no way you could remember it, which is why I put this table together so you can take a look at what the different numbers are. The key thing to keep in mind is to, is to ask your editing software how it compensates for the difference between the square versus the rectangular pixels, the square of the computer and the rectangular video, because every editing package treats it differently. And these are the numbers you need to keep in mind as you're building your graphics so that you can make sure that the circle you create on your computer looks like a circle when you bring it over to video.